sorry for the bad quality if it's bad quality, but like, I'm watching the Bulls game right now, not, not on my TV because I'm uploading a video, um, but we are fucking, we were so good in the first and second quarter, and now we suck. Jim Boylan, I, I, I don't want to scream too loud, but you're fired, man. I, I, I don't know. If they're not going to, you know, do a change yet, then I don't know what they're going to do. How do the Lakers come back from that? Like, I know they have LeBron and uh, Anthony Davis, but Anthony Davis and LeBron wasn't even playing in the four. I mean, for like some of the second half. And fucking Dwight Howard did it. And Alex Caruso. Like, I, I'm a pissed off Bulls fan, man. Um... You're lucky I'm not white. Well, I am white. Okay, that was kind of mean. Okay, fuck, fuck. I love white people. I love. Okay, anyways, fucking. You got it. Like, god damn it. I I'm still watching the Bulls game right now. But if something happens, I'm I'm of course gonna upload this video tonight, which I am. Um, but like, I'm just gonna be like doing this and giving my thoughts on on the Bulls and shit. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, guys. If you saw the intro of the video, then it was just uh from. It, it, it was before the Bulls lost. Um, they blew a 20-point lead again. They only scored, like, what, 15 points in the fourth quarter while the Lakers scored um, 40. I'm I'm just... There's so much to say. There's so much... LeBron got a triple-double. The Bulls blew the lead. I am pissed. I'm postponing my other video tomorrow, to, um, from tomorrow, uh, for tomorrow, by the way, guys. So, uh, this video's up tonight while everything's tomorrow. So, when I saw the Bulls, when my dad told me the Bulls can play, that was at the second, I mean, the Bulls, I can watch the Bulls, um, on the second quarter. Um, I'm like, oh, fuck yeah. I was, I was like, taking the shame. He was like, the Bulls can play. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so, so then I was like, oh shit, I better hurry up and take a shit. No pun intended. Um, and then I went to go watch the Bulls after I, um, finished, uh, uploading this video, but it's still taking a while because I don't have good Wi-Fi. Okay, but that's besides the point. The Bulls lost. Um, Larry Marketing did shit. Jim Boylan, I'm so so. I feel so bad for Jim Egghead, dude. I feel so bad for him. I, like, I, I, gen I, I, I just call him Egghead, but Jim Boylan, actually, though, I feel genuinely bad for him. He's doing so well in the first and second, and you can, I guess, say the third quarter, but then the fourth... And, now, just, like, let's scratch that. The first and second, he's doing awesome, right? He's, he's getting the Bulls to a, you know, a great start. Um, and then he's getting, and then, and then the second, um, uh, half, he is getting them into a shit start. Especially the fourth quarter, after, um, whatever. So, with the Bulls only scored six points in, like, ten minutes, or some, five minutes, whatever it was. Same thing. Um... It's not the same thing, but whatever. It's, they only scored like five, six, five, six points. So, and then the Bulls scored like two threes. Okay, you know, maybe they could come back with a minute left. No, they didn't come back. It's okay, though, because we're two and six. I got to update my Twitter feed. I am going to um, cry right now. Um, I am pissed about the Bulls losing. I, I have so much to say. Okay, let's talk about Jim Boylan first. I, I, I feel like so bad for him, not be, not because, like, you know, he's, pro he, he, like, blows the lead or whatever, or, he, you know, the players are playing, it's not him that's playing, but, um, but he makes those game plans, I, I don't know what he did, I don't, I'm not a coach, I'm not a fucking Jim Boylan fan, I don't know shit about him, but I just feel genuinely so bad for him that he's gonna get fired, like, he had, I feel like he had so much potential, I mean, it's, it's not over yet, the Bulls can fire him right now while I'm making this video, the Bulls, I mean, um, you know, or gonna keep him, give him another chance, but, I don't think he's gonna um, be on the Bulls much longer if it keeps going like this. Um, yeah, the Bulls are playing the Hawks tomorrow, so that's good. So, um, yeah, I just that about Jim Boylan. Um, let me go ahead and um, uh, fucking show you guys the Bulls box score. Um, my phone is like um, fucking on sixteen percent. That's never happened to me before. 16% because I always keep it charged, but like I was just so intense into that Bulls game. So we lost 118, 112. Um, so let's look at the Bulls stats. I don't know if this is really good quality. Uh, uh Wendell Carter did good, he did 11 11. Uh, Zach Levine did um all right, he had 26 points. Uh, Lavery Markinen did crap. Otto Porter did all right, also. Um, Tom, Tomas Sadoransky, and this is what I want to show. I don't know if Tomas Sadoransky was the starting point guard tonight or. 
take that back. I don't think he was at all. No, he was a few times, but just assuming he was the starting point guard tonight, he did worse than Kobe White, and Kobe White's the bench, okay? He's 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 always doing bad, Thomas Sadaransky. He's I mean I'm not he's still got a lot of time to develop, I know. But I just don't think he's a good starting point guard for like the start of the season right now. Um I think Kobe White, or in, I think they should get a Derrick Rose back, you know, maybe someone similar to Derrick Rose, like, it, I, I don't know, but I, th I think the Bulls should try to just get Derrick Rose back, um, for like Chris Dunn to my Sadaransky, depending on the cap space, I don't know, whatever, and like some picks, I, I just, I, I don't rely on the young guys anymore, I mean, no, take that back, I have... A lot of potential in the young guys. Larry Markinen is um, having, you know, always a bad night. But he's 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 putting all his effort in there. Uh, he had a bad night this night. But he, he usually having good nights. That's what I mean. So is Zach Levine. Um, but it's just that, you know, you got to... I don't know. It's e it's either the coach's fault or it's no it's the players and coach's fault. It can't be just be the coach's fault. He's not going to be like, oh oh, it's my fault because I did this game plan. You know, like like that. That's part of his fault, but it's not all of it. It's how the Bulls, you know, don't make the shots or you know you you can't make every shot. I don't. I I understand that. Yeah, that you can't make every shot, but like they didn't make anything in the fourth quarter until like. They, they only scored, like, 15 in the fourth, and that was only because, at the end, the Lakers gave up. We're like, fuck you. The Bulls had, like, a 20-point lead in the second quarter, and then they put it down to a 10 in the third, and then the fourth they had, you know, um, shit. So, um, I, I probably have a lot more to say, but I really just can't think of it right now. I'm trying to give this video up uh, as quick as possible. So, um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, because if you did, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, um, I would really appreciate it. I really need, um, the, the likes. <laughs> okay, anyways, have a good rest of your night, guys, and I will I'll see you in the next video. If I missed anything, if you guys want to, like, uh, comment down, any, anything, just please comment down. I want to argue with you guys in the chat, or agree with you guys and talk shit in the chat. Um, no, no homo, no pun intended. That was not a pun at all. Okay, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.